Hi guys and Slancha on this um, Sunday, St. Patrick's Day. I am here, hold on, let me fix this a little. I am here with another review on Tony of Beverly's Avery wig. But first, let me show you what I'm wearing for St. Patrick's Day. See this sweater? I've got the sweater and hold on. Uh, I've got this sweater and I'm wearing green ankle pants from J. Crew Factory. This is for me my perfect St. Patrick's Day outfit. Um, hold on. I have to get the box. So you can actually get a better look at what this looks like. Now the sweater is way oversized and that's because it belonged to my dad. Um, my dad got the sweater um, when he was in Ireland over 30 years ago. I have a lot of family that lives there and um, you know, my grandparents immigrated in the 1920s to America. So my family is pretty new at being American, okay? Um, they haven't even been here for a hundred years yet. But when my dad passed away, my mom gave me this sweater and she also gave me one of those caps that men wear. It's a wool cap and he did get that in Ireland too. And every St. Patrick's Day since my dad passed away, I've worn the sweater. It's the only day of the year that I take the sweater out. Um, when he first passed away the first couple of years, I could smell his scent on the sweater. And it was so great to like smell my dad on me. Like I felt like he was there. Um, over the years since um, he passed in 1994, over the years, um, the scent has faded, but I still have to say I can still feel his presence and, you know, I, I really miss my dad. So that's it. And no, I will not be having corned beef and cabbage tonight because that's an American thing and it used to drive my grandmother crazy. She would say, if you wanted something to eat that's more authentic, get slab bacon and just eat that. But um, this was also the woman who drank Guinness with a raw egg in it because she said it kept her regular. Um, I'm not going there. But anyway, that's it. So have a happy St. Patrick's Day. And whatever you do, if you're going out celebrating, please celebrate in a responsible way because I don't want you to get sick. But anyway, let's focus on this wig. Now, I decided to wear this Avery wig today because of the shade. It's more like a ginger. Um, strawberry blonde and it's very it's very irish colleen colored the shade is sangria which i think is probably the most unusual name for a shade that looks like this now there are dark under fibers which makes it a little bit kind of ombreish but not really. Um, here's the roots. I'm going on the record right now to say I love Avery. I have her in another color. I absolutely adore her. This shade, I don't think it's the most flattering on me. And that's one thing that I think is a wig wearer that we really need to focus on. And I really never 
see any videos or anything like that about focusing on the right shade for you. Um, I'm cool toned. I'm not warm toned and I have a lot of pink undertones in my um, complexion. I look better in a brunette color with like low lights because I, I've said this before, I think one dimensional like black colors of wigs can look very harsh. So I think it's important to go a little bit lighter. I also love the caramel shades on me in particular because of my coloring. The reds, unless it's a burgundy, the reds I don't think are the best shades for me. Now, because I love Avery so much, I actually will wear this, but I'll make sure that I wear it with the right color clothing. With a navy sweater, I think this looks fine. Um, I would not wear this if I was wearing a caramel colored blazer or a tan blazer because I don't think this shade against that color fabric would look very um, would look very flattering to tell you the truth. But I think that's another thing that we need to take into consideration when we're buying wigs or looking at wigs or looking at the colors of wigs that we want. I think we need to take into consideration the, the colors that we'll be wearing the hair with. Now, as I said, this, this looks fine with navy, but there are definitely a lot of colors this, this, that this would not look flattering on me, on me. I'm not saying it wouldn't look flattering on you, but let's get back to the wig itself. As you know, I have another Avery. And hold on, I'm gonna pause this because I wanna get my phone so I can give you the specs on this, okay? I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So let me give you the specs. Okay, the bang is six inches. And let me tell you something, Tony of Beverly, I mentioned this in another review that I did of my other Avery. Tony of Beverly did a great job with the bang because nothing needs to be trimmed. And that is so important. The crown is 10 and a half inches. The left side and right side are both eight inches and the nape is nine inches. Now this is considered a straight wig, which it is, even though there's a lot of layering, it is also mid length, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how this one looks from side to side and in the back. Let me fix this. Okay, here we go. Here's my right side. Here's my left side and you can see how the angle just, the layering just comes at an angle. It's very flattering to a square face. And here's the back. The movement is like the movement is great. I'll never, I, I, I swear, I will never complain about this Avery wig. If I had the funding, I would have an Avery in every color. It's, it's kind of like the way I feel about Jameson being the perfect classic bob cut, that's the way I feel about Avery being the perfect layered cut. I think this is just the absolutely perfect layered straight wig. I think it's flattering for the mature face because look, I mean, I don't have the greatest um, jawline because it's kind of jowly. So, this really helps the mature woman to achieve a softer look. And that's, uh, that's what it's all about. So this was a quick look-see. 
Um, maybe I should, you know what? I'm going to take this off just so you can see the inside of the cap. I did showcase my other Avery, but here we go. Here's the laser cut lace front. It's very clean and very accurate. Here's the, here's the lace where the permatease is. And even though there's permatease in this, it's not like crazy permatease. It's a great, great, just like really good amount of permatease. Here's the ear tabs. They are super duper comfortable ear tabs. And the adjustable straps are Velcro. They're not the bra straps. You know, and I kind of like that. I like the Velcro ones better. I, th I think they're just easier to adjust. So let me get this back on. She's a cutie. And that was it for Avery. So I shall be back with another review of a different wig by the same name and a different brand. Take care. Um, Slancha, have a great St. Patrick's Day. Be safe, whatever you do. And if you're going to have a Guinness, have one and don't put a raw egg in it. Take care. Thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever. See you guys later.